Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I feel said that early because sometimes I forget to say it. Anyways, guys, I know I promised to do a Father's Day video yesterday, but Father's Day is a very, very, very emotional day for me. And that is due to the fact that I lost my dad in 2011. So, we just kind of, you know, cool up when it comes to Father's Day. And on top of everything, my neighbor, she lost her son. So, I went to the funeral yesterday. And after the funeral, I went to a Father's Day brunch. The brunch really, really, really lifted my spirit. And I must thank my neighbor also for inviting me and I tap myself to the time I won't forget because who know me no say my heart for convince. So judging by the title. Overseas, him kind of always, you know, 
you might waste the chill side. But my dad was a great dad. No one not no. no. School people pay him dead. Eh? Anything him dead. Eh? Could I have far like more? I spoke with my dad every day. When when we touching on my teenage years, when he talked to my father every day because he was such a smart man like anything I asked daddy. Anything him know it off of the top of my head. And for that reason my father was such a role mother like I never ever ever think say I would have meet up on somebody else with the same characteristics as my father. Right? So the last time I saw my dad was in February 2011. He usually travel often. So even though he lived overseas, he used to live in Florida, we used to see him probably three or four times a year. He come and look for mommy and all of that. So he may not be here physically every given day, but if I have a woman come ahead with me, I can call my father. If I have a problem, I can call my father. If I want her shoes, I can call my father. Anything could have called my father. So the last time I saw him was in February 2011. I was pregnant with Nathaniel and he never deal with me. So when he started about dealing with me now, my grandfather did dead in 2011, February. So my father came at my grandfather's funeral. But then my auntie, which is my mother and sister, did I say, um, Look, you kind of look weird, you look like you're sick or something, but I never pre it or take nothing. No. But never take none of it because to me, my father looks normal, see me, just a drinking beer, always have a red stripe. Ever have a red stripe. So, I just figure out so everything normal with him. I ask him if he's alright, he say yeah. And then that given Sunday now, when my grandfather did bury, I remember. Then we have this kind of repast because some country people come, so mommy did make them get food and so I never want that food there. So I said to him, said, Daddy, you can't can go buy Chinese food. And he said to my mother, say, Lord, your book is so bad, the food there, she not even want it. And even he said, So, in can go buy the food. And then at, in 2011, I was 21. So, no, most 21, most still 20. So I'm sure you, even though he pissed off at me for having a baby, he get over it. He did just have me as him look cool. You know, he look a daughter. He just always did for me and stuff like that. I remember uh, when things are got bad, my father just looked at me and said, you know what, don't worry. You take care of everything. Them look for someday. Like, he was... He was so much to me. My father was so much to me. He wasn't a deadbeat. So you yeah, understand, sir. Me not me not being able to come to terms with talk about him by YouTube. Yesterday, cause I would have probably a ball and him something. We try my best yourself for just forget about it. That's why I'm glad I got a brunch. And yeah, so I remember now in about June, in a 2011, my uncle came, I came updated and said, oh, my father sick of all of that, and that, 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 the whole, the whole two cents. Come to think of it now, I said, shit, what really happened to my father? So I call him now, and I said, daddy, what's going on, stuff like that, so, so I tell me, say, and do some tests and find out them of cancer. He said to me, I'm not for worry. It's going to be fine. I'm going to get over it and all of that. Those were the last words my dad said to me as a strong person who be able to talk. I'm going to believe in it. I'm going to believe in them words. They say that will be okay. And I say, all right, then if they are fine and I like him, they are Jamaica. Then tell me, I know me a big girl, but I'm kind of naive, certainly. I'm not really pre-certain to myself. There is this thing I'm always upon 
TV, this advertisement book, Cancer Society, or something, something, and say, yeah, like, come, what did you find now in public? Can you have Cancer Society and get better? <coughs> man say, like, when you have find now, you can go to Cancer Society and get better, and way, 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 way. <laughs> the last thing my father said to me was he's going to be okay but not afraid so I didn't know I didn't know I'm going to say alright then I'm going to come around but probably by next year can come look for me because the last time I see was February and it would have been time again for him to come to Jamaica and my mom tell me to come share four times for the year then I know September, one month, one, 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 one day, my daddy, but for some strange reason, I never too feel hundred. I don't see car nothing, but I just feel low. I'm going to show you the story now. In the night, the same auntie, but my mother said that my father not look too good, called me and tell me, say, well, call my mother and tell my mother, say, my father passed off or, and whatever. The cancer we did have is pancreatic cancer. So when you actually find out about that cancer, it gone too far and you can't do nothing about it. That them always so when you find out about pancreatic cancer, it gone too far and you can't do nothing about it. So on September 23rd, 2011, I lost my dad. I don't know why I might get emotional about it, but on that day, I lost my dad and my life has never been the same. Sometimes I feel really troubled because I have to teach my mother how, my mother is a great mother, but I have to teach her how to you know, for adjust to certain things. The thing is, when I actually lose my father, it brings me closer to my mother. Because, not only to say, as she alone did have left or anything, but she was the one who made me feel like I understand more than anybody else because she did just was fair for the way she looked dearly. So, you know why I get so emotional? This one, this, I never wanted a video yesterday, but every time I talk about my father, every time I'm birthday, sometimes I try to forget him birthday, sometimes I try to forget Father's Day. Like, I've a couple years now, I never call nobody from Father's Day. And, yeah, I'm not some really good father in my life. Like my cousin them, I have some cousin them not play with Pitney. Them take care of them Pitney. My brother, like most of the man them were around me, them really, really, really check for them Pitney. So I see good father and I know what a good father is like. No. This message basically for me I don't take your parents for granted sometimes your parents may see you annoying them probably see like them talk too much them think they know everything and but don't take your parents for granted and don't think your parents annoying them actually love you more than they may know and sometimes when them hard for you I will call them one good for you if you have, if your parents never ever ever rough find you something wrong, there must be a time when you didn't do something with your parents have to draw for you. But yeah, I lost my dad on that day, 2011. My life has never been the same. Like most of the stuff I'm gonna do, I always try make sure say them worthy because more of my father proud I never do any more of my do like go college directly out of school and make the most of it because I mean I say I never think what them want me to do 
I got mean in one room. But now, I know I live a life where I'm not proud of. I know if freaks real any time I say, Watch my girl. Because I have so much, so much of my personality and my character is of my dad. And, but when, when, when I found out that he died a couple months after I put on a tattoo with his name, I'm going to show the number. So that tattoo is with his name, his name. Yes. So, yeah. Basically, that's my story. That's the best way I can remember it about the day when I lost my dad. And we uh, never get to go to funerals, so we never really get much closure because I must have far in the grave and it just never work out for me to see that last memory of my father, like sister, my father, really, 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 really gone. Probably someday we'll go counseling about it because I should have either get better while time, I should have heal while time goes by, but most time we just avoid the subject altogether. So guys, I hope you like this video. Share this video, like tell somebody about it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed to that guys, click the subscription button below and turn your post notification on so you never miss an upload. Thank you so much guys for the support and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.